Hi everybody and welcome to another video. In this video I would like to talk about a DM10 and 1200 use case called PDF Viewer. This display family does provide PDF Viewer functionalities which gives the user the possibility to display PDF files from different locations on local storage or USB stick as well. This video shows how to add a generic viewport to the screen editor and link this to a PDF file using the unique identifier output signal. Assign a PDF file path to the PDF viewer and build up your own style of a PDF viewer using the zoom, page number, scroll and other available elements which are listed inside the API specification documentation in combination with the vector-based screen editor functionalities. In the following I will show how the PDF viewer functionality can look like or how it can be used or develop inside guide on the DM10 and 1200 display platform. We will start adding a show screen component inside guide and add new screen. Open the screen editor and add generic viewport and assign output signal to UID. Read out this UID variable on the show screen component output bus and connect to the PDF viewer variable generic viewport UID. To get a PDF file, I added the API specification documentation inside the media repository. Copy the full name and add this to the PDF path. Download this application to the display and this is how it looks like. The generic viewport does show the PDF file starting at page number one, which is the default value. There's no zoom functionality or possibility to change the pages and display the number of pages by default. This needs to be developed in addition. Next step is to check the PDF viewer variables, which are listed inside the API documentation. To do so, I added non-volatile parameter to the output variables to set the page number, scroll horizontal and vertical, and to set manually a zoom value. In addition, I created some checkpoints to read out the PDF viewer input variables like the status, the page width and height, and the count of pages of that PDF file. Download this application to the display and start create a um, service to page. The first view of the display after download looks a bit weird. That's because of the default value since I changed the constant with non-volatile parameter without a default value. So um, for example, the, the zoom value starts with the lowest percentage. However, we are able to change these values via adding the logs and parameter to the service tool page. So we um, start or we got the, the zoom variable to zoom in or out of the PDF file. The minimum zoom, zoom value is 10% and the maximum is 400. Then we have the, the page number variable to select a new page or a needed page of the PDF file to be shown on the, on the display. The maximum number of pages is shown or can be read out via the PDF viewer output signal count of pages. The scroll horizontal and vertical variables can be used to scroll left, right and up, down inside the PDF page. In addition, the height and width value of the PDF file can be read out as well. And last but not least, the status will be available to check if the PDF file is loaded or not. All these mentioned and available write and readable variables can be used and combined together with some, some logic, if it's a guide or structured text, to build up your own PDF viewer. Here you can see one possible structure of a PDF viewer which shows the current and maximum number of PDF pages on the top. In the middle of the PDF file or the current page of the PDF file, including a scroll bar at the right and a text field at the bottom to show the path of the PDF file. You can add buttons to switch or move to the next or previous page and read out the touch signals of the display and add with logic to zoom in and out and scroll horizontal and vertical. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plus One community help is available on the Plus One user forum. 
check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One Helpdesk. Thank you for your attention.